Okay, so here we are with the Tyros 3. Um, I'm just going to show you how to very simply record some audio, maybe do a second track to add your own sound over the top and then save it um, and export it on a USB stick so you can then put it into your computer and use it in iTunes or whatever software you use to transfer music onto your uh, MP3 player. So the first thing I'm going to do is select the rhythm that I want to use, so I'll come over here, I'm going to use pop and rock, and then on the screen choose, let's have this choose this cool 8 beat, that'll do. So you then want to choose um, a sound maybe, or let's have a little, we'll turn on the accompaniment here, make sure that light is on there, the accompaniment light, that splits the keyboard in two. Just start the rhythm going, and we'll have a listen. That's it, so that rhythm is fine, that's what I want to record my backing track with. So, um, what sound have I got here? Yeah, I've got an organ sound there, that will do nicely. That's just for reference, that organ sound is called whiter bars. And if we go back to the main page, you'll see that the volume is shown on the screen here, right number one, that's the volume of my organ sound. I've brought it down a little bit, otherwise it tends to, to over, overdrive the, um, the accompaniment. So I've got the keyboard set up how I want it for my song, so I'm ready to record. So what I need to do is come over to this side of the keyboard here to the hard disk recorder and press see it says new audio here so you press record and stop together to create a new song so I press record and stop and it's showing me on the screen now new audio so I'm creating a new file now you can give this a name so I would suggest you name it the name of your song so you press the delete key here which is the button underneath here the, that button down arrow 7 corresponds to delete on the screen so you hold that down give it a name so Let's call this one lovely. So I'll just tap, tap this in like you do on an old style mobile phone. There we go, I'll call it lovely. There we go. And then when you're ready, just press OK, which is this one here, which is this button up number eight that corresponds with that. So it's creating my new song. Then, see it's created it there. Then I'll come back over here, just press record on its own, and I'm now recording my song, which I've called lovely. So the light's flashing just to tell me that it's uh, in record mode, but it's not actually recording yet. It doesn't record till you press play. So it's just a little bit like an old fashioned tape recorder where you press record, then you press play when you're ready to start. So once I press play over here, I can now start playing my backing track. So let's play some chords. that one's nice and quick to end so it just ends fairly instantaneously so now I've finished recording so I just want to press stop and it shows you on the screen please wait and that's now saved that so if I press play which I've done over here that was so as you can hear it's playing back my song so I've recorded if we look on the screen here I've recorded what's the main track so just use the button next to the screen to change that and it moves over to sub that's your second track so if I now press record over on this side here and then play I'll hear what I've already recorded and I can add something else over the top so let's give that a go so I'll press play there we go now I can add something <laughs> second track so I'll press stop to finish recording and if I play that back now just using the play button so as you can hear it's got both tracks recorded so all I need to do now is just save it so I'll press see it says on the screen there save it's button I next to the screen press save are you sure you want to save my song which is called lovely press OK and that's now saved.
So that's saved inside the keyboard. So at the moment, you can't use that on a iPhone or iPad or any kind of MP3 player. What you need to do is take your USB stick, which I've got here, and I'm going to plug that into the USB socket on the right here. And on the screen, it says device is connected. So now, what I want to do is find the audio that I've just recorded. So you do that by pressing select. So you use this to play back the audio. So you press select and on the screen it shows me, as it happens I'd already recorded a song called Tony, but Lovely is the one we just recorded. So if I select Lovely and press play, we can have a listen to it. So that's how you get the song back is you use a select button and then it brings up this screen. Now, what I want to do is actually do what we call export that song onto my USB stick over here. So it's very easy. You just choose export. So that button there it actually corresponds to here. And then I press, it says, please select the file you want to export. Well, lovely is already selected because it's highlighted there. See, I can highlight whichever ones I want. So I highlight lovely press OK, which again is the button right underneath the screen there. Remember, it's not a touch screen. And now I can choose where I want to put it. So the screen is brought up. See, it says HD1 up here. It's empty. Now, this is the hard drive within the keyboard, but I don't want to put it on there. I want to put it onto my USB stick. So you see there's a second tab here. So you tab across. Look, now we've got the USB page highlighted. That's where I want to put it. So I just press execute. So you use the button under the screen, press execute, and it says now executing. So it takes, it can take a few minutes. It's, this one should just take a few seconds because it's not a very long song. But if it's a full length, three, four minute song, you might find that it takes a few minutes to export it. But that's now been exported onto this USB stick. It's called Lovely. You won't be able to play it back on the keyboard because it's in the wrong format for the keyboard, but it's in the right format for your MP3 player. So then you'll just remove the USB stick. There we go. And now you can plug that into your computer and you can then import that into whichever software you use for transferring songs to your MP3 player.